Before we get into the content today, just a quick reminder that if it resonates with you and you want to book in with me or my coaches, there is a free call booking link in the description. Enjoy. What makes giving oral sex great for a man and what makes it terrible? I surveyed 300 men and I have the average of all the answers and a few of the answers ready to report to you. Gonna be an interesting one. I surveyed these men and asked them three questions. Specifically, the questions were, number one, what factors make you enthusiastic to give oral sex to a woman? What makes it really enjoyable? Just great for you. Question two, what factors make you hesitant or straight up averse to giving oral sex to a woman? What makes it really bad for you? And number three was, how important is shaving and waxing when giving oral sex to a woman? Those were the three questions I, I feel like I'm on Family Feud. I surveyed 100 men and the top three answers are on the board. What were the conclusions? Let's start with the first one. Let's, what was good? What makes men enthusiastic? What do men love about giving? What makes them, yeah, love giving oral sex to you? What makes them really enthusiastic? Here's what we found. Here's what we learned. I found this interesting. What makes oral sex really, really good? The biggest category of answers over 40% of the answers was the vibe and her responses. The sexual vibe, her responses. Uh, let me give you a few examples. The mood is number one. If there's a sexual vibe, that makes me enjoy it the most. Enthusiasm. That answer came up again and again. The sounds she makes and her reaction to it. So all these mood-based answers kept coming in. Uh, there was quite a few validation answers. We'll get to those in a second. Physically seeing how much she is, enjoys it and is aroused by it and is pleased by it. The body movements, her moaning with pleasure, enjoying her scent and her movement. Pleasure to my partner. There was one where he was talking about, I just love pleasing my wife, which was really sweet. Her moans, her being into it, when I can tell they're enjoying it, when we have a great connection the thrill of her enjoying it, her response, her being vocal, 40% vocal. of answers. Almost half the answers about what makes it great for men were your responses and your enjoyment of it. I thought that was really, really cool. Now, the next category of answers was relating primarily to hygiene. And there was one word that kept coming up. I noticed this more than any other word, which was clean. Guys were saying, hey, clean if she's waxed and if she gives responses, if she's clean and into it, if she's well-groomed, if she's clean and really enjoying it, clean and attractive, clean down there, just got out of the shower. Heaps and heaps on those ones. Shaved, clean, cleanliness. Kept coming up again and again. And I would assume this is the same from women to men. The other thing that kept coming up in terms of positive, what makes it great? Smell. That one kept coming up again and again. When she smells good, when she's clean, um, good smell, taste and smell, her odor, if she smells good, if she's clean. Um, ones that came up a little bit less were the trimming slash waxing element. That came up reasonably often as well, well trimmed or hairless. The woman is really into it and shaved, clean shaven, well trimmed, just out of the shower when she's waxed. These were about 30% of answers. So 40% was mood, about 30% was these cleanliness answers. And the other one that came up a bit was taste, but they were basically in that order. Clean was a number one and smell was close. And then taste and waxing were a little bit less. But that was the, that was the majority of answers. A few other categories did slip in though. And there was a couple of nice answers. Let me just see if I circled them. My love for my wife. I thought that was a sweet answer. My love for my wife is what makes me most enthusiastic, how attractive and amazing she is. The intimacy and the kink. The satisfaction to my partner came up a lot. It was interesting. I didn't notice too many answers that were orgasm obsessed. Not too many. There were some, and there was a couple that said, I'd say five or 10, that said, oh, the challenge of getting her to orgasm, which is probably not the best mentality, uh, but a significant number more were talking about the pleasure rather than the orgasm. Now, I realize sometimes they can be tied together, but overall, I thought that was really, really good. Uh, other categories, my love for her. There was a big category on sort of about 10% of answers, my love for her, my wife's pleasure, the pleasure feedback loop, giving her pleasure, um, knowing we're in the right mood together, pleasing her. So if I had to sum up what makes giving oral sex great for a man, 40%, the majority of answers focused on her responses, her movement and her pleasure. About 30%, her cleanliness, her smell, 
and her other hygiene elements. And those were the big ones. And then things like love and connection and intimacy all played a part as well. But the question was, what makes it really, really great? What makes you super enthusiastic? And those were the answers. All right, let's have a look at the flip side. I'll get my other answers out here. So I also asked the question, as I said, what factors make you hesitant or straight up averse to giving oral sex to a woman? Um, and you can probably guess the road this went down. You probably know where this is going. Uh, almost 50% of answers relating to hygiene. So it was interesting, I found it interesting that while the experience factors, the responses, that's what makes it really great. You know, that's what can make it a 12 out of 10 is those experience, her responses. What can make it a zero out of 10 is hygiene. So you can have great hygiene and not so much response and the guy can still have a great time. But even if you grab great response, uh, if the hygiene is toast, the guy's probably not having a great experience. Let's have a look here. So some of the most common answers in the hygiene department. So lack of personal hygiene, poor smells, poor hygiene, bad hygiene, um, poor cleanliness, sweat or smell. These answers came up a lot. Doesn't pay attention to good hygiene, 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 cleanliness, smell, unhealthy, unhealthy, un unshaved. There was a couple there and, and a few guys did say that. Um, I'll talk about that in the answer to the third question actually, but I think hair is also one of those factors that can make it really, really good if it's really well done, but doesn't necessarily make it really, really bad if it's not. But the hygiene elements do. That was what I got from this. The next one that came up secondary was interesting, was actually shyness and lack of responsiveness. So that kind of goes hand in hand with the opposite to what makes it really enjoyable. Um, lack of communication, when they have no response, the mood, what else do we have? If she makes it awkward and really awkward. And I, I can say I can, I can relate to this. I remember one experience I had where she's very clean, very hygienic, um, that was all good, but was also very shy and took her a long time to become responsive. And, and I get that that's, you know, that's her thing that she's working through, but it also wasn't the best experience. I think of it as a nice experience, but not the best. So that kind of backs, these answers back that up. If she doesn't seem to like it, if the woman doesn't like it, if she's, if she's not into it, um, poor hygiene and not enthusiastic, if they're hesitant and uncomfortable. So I, 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 thought, it's, um, I thought it's really good to see that the guys really do care about the woman's pleasure and they want you to be into it. Actually, one thing I did not mention, one thing I should have mentioned but didn't mention between these two, so I, just under 50% answers were hygiene. Just around about 15% were relating to mood and confidence. But there was one, 20% of answers were nothing. So the guys are going, there is absolutely nothing that can make it bad for me. I just want to get in there. There is nothing. I love it. So there's also those 20% that are just like, get me in there. I want to be in there. Nothing will stop me. Those were the majority of answers and the majority of what makes it bad. There was some obvious stuff that came in as well. Obviously, lack of literal health, like STIs, stuff like that. Um, does not make it enjoyable. Not feeling her. Not having a good connection to her came up a couple of times. But hygiene definitely dominated, dominated the conversation in the negatives. Followed by nothing will stop me. Followed by if she's awkward or not into it, or if the mood is not right, if non-responsive, et cetera. So that is what factors make men straight up hesitant or make giving oral sex very unpleasant for them. Third question I asked for men was, how important is shaving and waxing? How important is shaving and waxing when it comes to giving oral sex to a woman? And I'm gonna get Maddie to weave his editing magic and put this on the screen right now. You will see that about 25% of men, 24, 25% said it's extremely important. About 28% that looks like said it's important. Around about 33% said it's not hugely important, but it's nice, which kind of backs up that thing that's like, if your cleanliness is good, is your, if your hygiene is good, the waxing thing becomes, for a lot of guys, becomes kind of like a nice to have an extra experience Again, 33% of men said not hugely important, but nice. Um, there was a couple of gay guys somehow that slipped into this survey, so they were not very happy with it. Uh, but disregarding that, and there was about 10% of guys that said shaving waxing is not important at all. So I have a question for you, and I'm sure you're gonna have lots to say about this video, but my specific question is, Male hygiene. I don't hear this talked about quite as much, but maybe that's because I'm not a woman and I don't sit in those circles. If a guy is really attracted, uh, sorry, if you're really attracted to a guy and you like him and you're connected to him, how important is hygiene to you? Still really important? 
Is waxing shaving still really important to you? Or is it like more of a nice to have? Kind of like it is with a lot of, with 33% of the guys. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear that from you. Uh, this video was a response to another video that was what men think receiving oral sex. So you can check that one out as well. I'm sure you'll have lots to say about this video. So please leave your thoughts. What makes giving oral sex really enjoyable for you? I'd love to hear it and hit the subscribe button with the little bell.